Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi Aaron, my name is Lena, and I'm from Laval, Quebec. I've been blessed to have two wonderful children and three amazing grandchildren, Joshua, Luca, and Selena. With Mother's Day around the corner, my question to you is, how did the actual Mother's Day celebration begin? Thank you, Erin. Thanks, Mama Lena. She was a kind, caring, blessed mom of all at my church. On this special day, I also wanted to say thank you to my mom. Thank you, Mom, for everything you've done to me, from cooking all my meals, all the way to washing my clothes. You've been one of the most important people I've met in my whole life. In fact, you're the one that actually gave me life. Thank you for everything you've done for me. All right, let's take a look at 10 lovable facts about Mother's Day. Fact number one, like Easter, Mother's Day isn't celebrated on the same day each year. The holiday is celebrated each year on the second Sunday of May. This year will be on May 10th. Mother's Day is the third most popular holiday in the world, behind only Christmas and Easter. Fact number two, the current version of Mother's Day was started by Anna Jarvis in the early 1900s. Jarvis got Congress to recognize this holiday, founded the Mother's Day International Association, and also trademarked the phrase Mother's Day. Jarvis was inspired by her own mother, who had called for Mother's Work Days to improve conditions of soldiers on both sides during the Civil War. In order to streamline this special tradition, President Woodrow Wilson legitimized the celebration as a nationwide holiday. Fact number three, the most popular gift for Mother's Day is a greeting card. Every Mother's Day, there are approximately 152 million gift cards sent. Whether it's handmade with love or purchased with her in mind, most of us give mom a card to mark the day. Fact number four, carnations have a special meaning of Mother's Day. Anna Jarvis used this carnation on Mother's Day to symbolize whether your mom was living. A red and pink carnation meant she was, and a white meant she had passed. Carnations are thought to made from the tears of Jesus' mother, Mary, when she cried at his feet when he was crucified. Fact number five, Mother's Day is intended to be a day to honor mothers individually, not collectively. So the reason of the apostrophe before the S, making it singular possessive instead of plural possessive. Fact number six, more calls are made at Mother's Day than any other day of the year. Approximately 122 million phone calls are made on Mother's Day. Fact number seven, the moniker mom comes from babies. So the first thing a baby can pronounce or vocalize is the ma sound, which is why almost every language, the word mom starts with the letter M or it's the iteration of the ma sound. Fact number eight, Mother's Day is celebrated in close to 50 countries in different parts of the world. A 1950 law in France established the Fête des Mères on the fourth Sunday in May. Mother's Day on Egypt and several other Arab countries falls on March 21st, the first day of spring. But most countries, Mother's Day is an imported holiday. Mothers are showered with flowers, gifts, and cards. Fact number nine, what are you getting to your mom this Mother's Day? Common gifts are meals in restaurants, jewelry, cards, flowers, clothing, trips to the spa, books, all the stuff that moms like. Don't let the importance of the holiday intimidate you. No matter your budget, Mom will love whatever you give her, especially since it was chosen with a love and care. But really, how can you really say thank you to the woman who gave you the gift of life? Fact 
fact number 10. Moms really, really deserve a celebration day. Consider that by a baby's second birthday, a mom will have to change approximately 7,300 diapers. That's only one baby. Imagine a mom with twins. Preschool children demand a mom's attention about 210 times every day. Mom of preschool age children spend approximately three hours per day for childcare and two hours on household chores. A full 88% of all laundries are done by mom, totally 330 loads, 5,300 articles of clothing per year. 72% of moms with children over one year old go to work. And 55% of all moms who has a child under one year old has to go to work. A mom who works with childcare and the chores will have to spend a 13 hour day. If you're celebrating Mother's Day for a very hardworking mom, one of the best gifts you can give is a time to get good rest and a very peaceful day. So let's shower her with love and appreciation every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Leave a comment down below of how you celebrate your Mother's Day. Share this video with family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace.